okay, come on, we're in such a cool location here, we need to know the story. Give us the story of where Apron came from and how it's got to where it is today. So Apron started a little over two years ago, back in 2021. I was at Square, before then I was with Revolut, and uh, like all my career, I was involved in uh, building consumer products, uh, consumer payment products. Same story with a lot of Apron employees. People came from Revolut, from Square, from Trade Republic, etc. And then at some point when, when I was at Square, I noticed that business payments are lagging behind. Mm. So if, for example, you're a Monza user or Revolut, you have your P2P payment, it's very yeah. easy to pay one another. For example, we, we had a coffee, I can just, you know, in a couple of clicks, send you money for the coffee. And businesses I found back then also have a P2P, peer-to-peer -peer payment, which is invoice payment, one business paying another business. But that kind of business payment version was a much, much clunkier. So it took like hours and hours uh, business owners to pay their suppliers. And I started looking into this problem and it turned out to be this massive like mammoth that just everyone ignores. That was the beginning of Apron, kind of initial spark. And then um, I started speaking to uh, small businesses in London, understanding how it works, why it's that way. And there were no fundamental reasons for it to be that way. So Apron was started with an idea of uh, bringing consumer grade payment experience to uh, small businesses. And two years forward, so we've uh, focused on accounts payable for reasons we can discuss. Mm -hmm. and today Apron is all in one AP solution, starting from invoice capture all the way through payments, approvals, reconciliation for small businesses in the UK. I love it. And what about the name Apron? Where's that coming from? Yeah. Because there's a debate going on and there's two stories. I don't know if, if I should give you the right answer. I don't know if it exists, the right answer. <laughs> yeah, but th there are multiple angles. So if, yeah. if you look at the word Apron, so one kind of angle is it stands for accounts, payable, receivable, on. And money in part is coming soon. So stay tuned. And then like another version is, um, which is real too, when we were building our first website and we had photos of the business owners yep. um, on the website, my wife was looking at, uh, at the design and she was like, is it okay that they all wear aprons? And, and the company was called, well, it was called Hello Cash back then. And we were looking for the new name because Hello Cash was not good for many reasons. And I was like, huh, apron. It's like, that's exactly what we need. Yeah. Like it's, it's, it's catchy, it's short, it's easy to spell. It's, it's an A, always good to have an A there into the top of the alphabet. Yeah. yeah, exactly, exactly. And then kind of third angle to it is um, apron is a very ubiquitous tool, simple, ubiquitous. A lot of business owners have it, almost like this timeless tool that everyone, um, that, 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 that everyone has. So we see apron product, like our product philosophy is similar. We want to build similar, ubiquitous, simple tool. Keeps things tidy. Yeah, 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 that's, that's another one. Love it. So, yeah, many, many reasons for the company to uh, get the name. I love it. And why this location? What, what, what's so special about this? Because this office is absolutely amazing. Oh, cool. Thanks, Aaron. Story is we started Revolut here back in the days. Uh, so I, I worked for Revolut between 2017, 2021. So this is where we spent the first two years. And uh, then we, we moved out, but uh, there is a lot of history in this building. So we decided to uh, come here. Love it. Cool. Fantastic. So one more story. Yeah. Everyone knows what Apron does at events. You get bags of coffee. Yeah. Which keeps my wife exceptionally happy. That's great. I get in from an event, not how was your event? How are you? Did you get the coffee? <laughs> That's all I get asked. But why coffee? Because yeah. I believe there's a story and there's a customer and all sorts behind it, isn't there? Yeah, exactly. So when we went to our first uh, show, it was a context last year. I can't believe it's, it's, it's been one year only, but it's a context it was last so year. so much longer. <laughs> Yeah, and then we we're like, okay, what's what's going to be our thing? One of our first customers was the coffee shop in London, Pot and Reed, and they were like, they were serving great coffee. And then we thought, all right, let's help them out, and then we'll have a great kind of swag, real story. And we put uh, their coffee in in those apron branded bags, and uh, that was a win-win. And then it resonated with people a lot, so we continued to do. Coffee. Yeah, best way. Accountants and bookkeepers love coffee. Cool. Even more importantly, they love, they love good coffee. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, if you came in with Nespresso in a jar with an apron sticker on, you wouldn't have got anywhere. Yeah. But yeah. Good quality coffee, you do a fantastic. And my favorite use case for my wife is tiramisu. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So we have apron, apron tiramisu every, after every conference. So. <laughs>